I just had to show you really quick before I get started on this video some cool things that I found at my local thrift store. When I go into thrift stores, I'm not really looking for anything in particular, just things that kind of catch my eye and I tend to um, be pulled more towards like pottery or architectural pieces or baskets, stuff like that. Um, or maybe just shapes of things that I know that I can change up with paint or other uh, mediums. But I found this, I actually found these next few pieces at the same place. And I love this. This is just a piece of pottery. And where it was grouped on the shelf, it didn't really stand out. But I just kind of look at each object, and that's what I did with this. I was just looking just kind of at each object, object and I, I just thought to myself, hmm, that's kind of pretty. And right now I'm really into like grays and navy blue. This kind of had a, uh, like a navy blue feel with creams. And these are all the colors that I've got going on in my house. So this vase right here, uh, and it was 50% off, was only six bucks. I thought that was pretty cool. And then, I'm not really sure what these are, but I'm sure I'm going to figure out something to do with them in one of my future videos. Hopefully you will see that soon. Um, but these were only, these were 10 bucks. They were a little pricey, but 10 bucks each, but they're like really heavy pieces of metal. And, and you can, I mean, you can put them in doorways, you can put them above doorways. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do with, you know, architectural pieces, metal. I can change the color of this if I want to, um, or leave it. Uh, but I mean, gosh, I thought it was a good deal. Only 10 bucks. So. And they're really heavy. <laughs> this one was really good. Whoops. This reminded me of sea glass, and this was like 50% off. This is a huge glass vase, five bucks. I paid five bucks for it. And it's so funny, because when I start putting all these pieces together, and I brought them up to the counter to, to pay for them, the ladies were like, hey, where'd that come from? I never saw that, because I had everything together, and it kind of was, you can see the theme, what I was going for. So when you have this on the shelf next to like a teddy bear and then like this at the bottom of shelf next to silverware, they don't really stand out. But if you kind of take your time and you look around and you'll notice things differently and you'll just kind of be like, hey, this kind of goes with my vibe or this kind of goes with this. And then they just kind of work together. So I thought those were cool five bucks and then way in the backpack I found these really cool corbels and it was with a bunch of cabinetry but I mean they were five bucks each and I'm a sucker for architectural pieces I don't know what I'm gonna do with these um, but I'm sure you will be seeing a bunch of these architectural pieces in upcoming videos for sure um, but this I mean my goodness uh, five bucks. It's got a great crackle finish on it. I don't know if I'll keep the color, uh, but who knows? Who knows? Once I figure out where it's going to go, then then that will determine if the color stays or goes. So these are really cool too. Oh yeah, and then these next few items were from a different thrift store, but again, these little architectural pieces. I, I just love these and there's so many cool different things that you can do with them. You can put them like in front of things as a layer. Um, you can hang them on the wall above pictures. I mean, there's all different things you can do. Um, but this was $3. I mean, I don't, I don't have a place for it right now, but I will find one. Check this out. This is crazy huge. This is like a huge basket. It's in great shape. Um, it was like 10 bucks. I'll probably roll up some blankets or put some pillows after I clean it really good. Um, maybe next to my couch or somewhere in my living room back there. Here's another basket I got. And this one is huge. It's just, I love it. 
Um, there's a little wear to it, but I mean, it's nothing that I can't fix or look over. The last items I want to show you before we get to decorating this, because that's really what this video is about today. Show you these big beauties. <laughs> now, I know these kind of look dated absolutely right now because the color is so, I don't know. Some of y'all might like it. I'm definitely going to change the color of them because uh, they're kind of, I don't know, gaudy. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I'm sure I will have, uh, I will have them in an upcoming video for sure. Okay, so for the pair, I paid 15 bucks. I'm going to put these away, but today's video, I'm going to concentrate on this beauty right here. This is like my favorite find of the year. I was actually in uh, my friend's grandfather's barn and um, I we were doing some picking because the barn was about, the roof was about to fall in. Um, so we went in there to see what we could kind of salvage and I'm all about picking and salvage and all of the rusty stuff. I found this table, I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, what it was used for, but there is a glass bottom right here. There's a couple scratches and chips out of it, but I've cleaned this part of it. I cleaned the glass. It's still a little dusty, so I'm going to clean it, and then we're going to accessorize it. I do have a top um, that I found in that barn as well. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't know. It's going to be the top. Whatever it used to be, it's not. Now it's going to be the top of this table. I kind of feel like I needed something behind my sofa because it was just kind of bare. I have a big open room where my kitchen is over here and I've got my dining room over here and then another little sitting room with my fireplace over there and then this is where we hang out and watch TV and this open space right here was just kind of bare so I wanted something to go back behind my couch just to give a little break and a little interest um, to this big open huge room so let me get the top real quick so like I said I'm not sure what this is but it was some kind of top or bench for something so I'm just gonna place this oops <laughs> I'm just gonna place this on here. It almost kind of gives that restoration hardware feel. Um, so I'm going to clean this off and then we're going to get to decorating. And I'm going to move my camera so we can get a better angle. I love it. It's very industrial but a little rustic and I think it fits perfect. What do you think? I'm going to put up my hair because it's raining outside. My hair is huge today and I just can't stand it. Can't stand it on my head, so. Yeah. I'm gonna clean this off a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna start down here. I really like these pieces, and I wanted to add a little bit of gray blue. When I'm staging and accessorizing, I just keep moving things around until it feels right and, and is pleasing to my eyes. I like to group everything together that is the same or the same color um, and you'll see that these price tags off because that doesn't look good. Oh my goodness, what did they put this on with? Super glue? Hey baby girl. A couple cats I'm sure you'll see climbing around here every now and then. <clears throat> and you'll probably hear my dog and my husband. Everything's loud in this house. I do have like this little plant, it's just a fake plant that I've had. I've got a collection of corks. Okay, so these candles, these are really cool. Um, I don't want to block the TV view. I don't want too much height, like especially right here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So this is, it's supposed to look like a piece of driftwood. My mom gave this to me years and years ago because I had a beach thing going on and I just love this ever since. I've got kind of a theme here where you 
you can see I've got gray blues and the blues in the, in the glass and then the natural tones um, in the corks and in the wood and in the wood you can kind of see a theme going on here. I love decorating with just little objects that I got from my local uh, jockey lot. I got this a long time ago. They're just like dials and I just, I don't know. It just, it's another layer and it's a piece that, um, there's a story. I don't know what, I don't know what the story is, but there's a story to it. Oh, what is this called? What is this called? <laughs> the Sands of Time, an hourglass. Is that what it's called? I know. Sands of Time, these are the days of our lives. <laughs> I used to watch that a long time ago. to add height and texture and dimension to an area that you're staging or accessorizing. I do have, this is my husband's family Bible and I love it. It's beautiful. Let's see if this works. Maybe. It has a pretty good flow, but let me see how I might put this. See how all of these have almost kind of the same height? That's not that's just not pleasing to my eye. I need something small right there. I have this piece that I made, and it's actually in one of my videos. And I love it. I made it for Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna keep it up all year round because it's just got great texture. And I've got a little easel looking thing. I think it's a plate back or a plate holder that goes on the wall. Certainly, if you like it better that way, um, my eye is more, it's more pleasing to my eye if I do that. So now you have up and then down and then up. I don't really want to put a lot up here because of the view of the TV. I love how this turned out. It gave the back of my couch a lot of interest and it's just, it's not such an open blank space anymore. There's some really pretty accessories down here and I think it gives it all a nice flow. And all of this I had on hand or was dirt cheap and I didn't have to alter anything. This project right here, again, I'm going to put a link right above here and go ahead and check that out. below. Please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I will see you.